Hello and welcome, this is question 2 for um, June 2014, uh, edit AQA, um, C3, past paper. Now, um, this question is quite um, a nice one, so it tests your previous core theory um, for maths. So, it's nothing too um, difficult in this question, I don't think. Um, just again, in case we're using the rules, continuing as normal. So, we are given the equation of a curve, uh, y equals 2ln uh, 2e take x. Uh, we're told to differentiate that. Now, you've got to remember um, our differentiating ln rules, weirdly enough, we need differentiating lns. Think about that, amazing. What we said was when we were differentiating lns, we had the differential that went on the top, and then what was being ln. So the differential of 2e take x on the bottom. Sorry, it's two e, the differential of 2e take x on the top of the fraction and 2e take x on the bottom of the fraction. However, if we aren't just differentiating ln 2e take x, we're differentiating 2 ln 2e take x. So all we do is times the differential by 2. Okay? So, okay, so what I'm going to do is I'll bracket out and simplify it down. So I'll take the two out as a common thing and just differentiate ln 2e take x. So 2 times the differential of 2 ln of 2e take x. So you write 2e take x on the bottom. Differential of 2e take x, well, 2e is just a number, so that goes. A differential of x is just 1, so that goes 1. So we times this all by 2, so therefore it's negative 2 over 2e take x. Okay, so that's your answer for your differential. That's all it wanted, didn't want us to do anything else with that just yet. Okay, so that's, that's question A, that's uh, 2 marks. Uh, I mean, you know, you, I don't know, you wouldn't really be able to do anything else with that before it tells you some other bits of information. Okay, so we're, the next part, part B, says find the equation of the normal to the curve. Um, now, straight away, you should think, okay, well, equation to the normal to the curve just asks us to work out dy dx. That's the gradient function. The gradient function of a normal is the negative reciprocal of the gradient function of that curve. Now, this is the gradient function of a curve. So... At this point, at this gradient function, the um, when we work out what the gradient is at a given point, we're told where x equals e, so we'll just sub in e where we can see x, um, obviously really. And what we're going to do is uh, do the negative reciprocal of that. So basic, really basic theory. Okay, so rewrite out the equation again. So dy dx equals negative two over two e take. Now, instead of taking x, it's take e, so it's just negative 2 over e, okay? Right, so hopefully you've been able to under understand that, and I'll just give you a second to write that down. Okay, so therefore, that's your gradient, just negative 2 over e. Don't do anything else with that. Now, we know that this is why x equals e. Well, to find the equation of the normal, we're going to have to also find the y-coordinate where x equals e. Okay? So, we therefore, we just revert to this earlier equation, um, and then we sub x to be e in there. Okay? Or e to, e to be x, whatever. Just so we get it all in terms of e. So, therefore, you could say, okay, well, we'll just sub in. So, 2 ln of 2e take e. So, therefore, that's the same as 2 ln of e. Now, you should know um, that the ln of e um, is 1, so therefore it's 2 times 1, which is obviously 2, so therefore that's our y coordinate. Now, if it was asking it to find um, exact form, so in terms of the uh, equation of the curve in uh, line in exact, then you would leave it as 2ln of e, but because it doesn't specify, um, I guess you could do it either way, really. Um, I mean, it's quite lucky that, lucky really, um, that it equals 1. Um, I mean, as I said, I'm not 100% sure uh, what you told in EQA, but um, in Edexcel, we're told to leave it unless it tells us otherwise. So that's why it's a little bit confusing that unmarked scheme has got it to 2. I guess that's because, you know, if it was the ln of 3, then it'd be a different story. But because it's the ln of e, which this is saying, I think of 
I admire, I'll, I'll do what I think. Well, um, okay, so, uh, I know it seems stupid, but always write y, take y1 equals m, brackets x, take x1, and sub in what you've got. So therefore we know y, take y1 is 2, y take 2 is equal to the gradient, which we said was minus 2 over e. Um, x brackets x take x1, x1 being e, so, okay. And what you could do there is um, you times it all by 2 or, or just leave it as that. Or times it all by e, but in the mark scheme they've just left it as that. Because it's, it's not said any specific form. If it says in the form y equals mx plus c, uh, then you obviously would have had to go a bit further than just this, but because it doesn't say that, um, you know, you could be lazy and just leave it there, because you probably would end up getting yourself in a mess, um, well I would anyway, because you'd end up with, this, they might cancel you, you times it all by E, but then you'd have EY take 2E, and they'd be stupid really. Um, I'm not saying you are, but you, know, you could be if you wanted to. It's not difficult. So anyway, that's part B out of the way. It's quite a nice uh, A. That's quite a nice um, six marks there. So it's a good chunk of the paper, um, which you should be getting. I mean, you should get all of it, obviously. Yeah. But oh, whatever. So um, the curve. So we told the curve again. Intersects with a line y equals x at a single point where x equals a point. We have to find out. So what we're saying is we've got two curves here. Y equals two ln of 2e take x and y equals x. Let's write y equals 0 then. So these are two curves that we told intersect at the point where x equals a. Now we don't know what the a, this a is. Um, should we? Yep. Um, and we're told to say that it, prove that line is between 1 and 3. Now this question um, really relies more more on um, actual thinking than maths knowledge really. Um, there's a little bit of maths knowledge towards the end but as I said most of this is logic um, in terms of how to work it out. So when you're doing with intersecting curves you did back in uh, C1 or C2, um, there's a couple of ways that you did it. You either did it with simultaneous equations or you let y equal y or you for quadratic you subbed it in but we're just doing this is a linear it's linear, like it's I'm trucking, but not. Um, so what we're going to do is just let y equal y, so 1 equal 2. So, or, or sub it in, uh, either way, because they both equal y, we can make them equal to each other, or sub it in. But either way, we're just going to end up with x is equal to 2ln of 2e take x. Okay, so that's what we're going to have to deal with. So that's, assuming that's where you are at the moment. Right. Um, so, we're told we're to prove that it lies between 1 and 3. Now, when you're proving something lies between 1 and 3, the general thing that you would have done, you think, if you don't get this straight away, you think, okay, well, what what thing have I done? I'm not sure, oh, yeah, but well, this is different. But what thing have I done um, in C3? That means that shows a change of sign and has some effect um, on proving if it if it goes past something. So, how did you prove if it cuts through the x-axis? Because it could be showing this. We don't know because um, we've put the two curves together. So what you do is you do a change of sign. Now we can't do a change of sign if x is equal to two ln of e, l two ln of two e take x. Because we don't know what x is. We, we're told x is equal to a, but we don't know what a is. And there's no point putting a in there, because that won't get us anywhere. Um, we know it's between 1 and 3, but we don't know what number. We're not bothered. We're not asked to find out. So what we're going to do is make this equal to 0. So therefore, um, 2ln of 2e take x, take x, is equal to 0. Okay. Now we need to show it lies between 1 and 3. Now, if we are correct, obviously, I am, because I'm old, right? Not boosting. Uh, uh, anyway, sure, uh, anyway. 
what we're going to do is sub 3 and sub 1 in and we should get a change of sign. If we haven't, um, I'll jump out that window and we'll end it up now. So, I feel we were hoping that happens, but obviously it won't. So what we're going to do is just sub in 3 first, so 2 ln of 2e take 3. Take 3 is equal. Now, we're not really bothered about what specific number it's equal to, but it, I put minus 1.218. As long as it's got a minus then that's all we're really bothered about. So do the same for 1. So if we sub in 1, 2ln of 2e take 1, take 1, is equal to positive 1.979. And it goes on. But we're not, as I said, we're not bothered about that. And then you just write it's a little paragraph on an e saying there's been a change of sign, therefore it lies between these two values. That's pretty much what they've done in the mark scheme, um, although they didn't explain that, so I'm not sure if you get away with that. But just to be safe, um, I would explain that. Um, I just say there's been a change of sign, therefore it lies between these two values. And there's no other really way you could go through that, I don't think. Um, but if you've got any ideas, please do let me know and we can discuss them. Um, and obviously tell uh, you know, the people at AQA that they need to book up their ideas. Because obviously we're all American now for some reason. Okay, so that's part, um, what part is that? C. Okay, so the next part is quite easy um, in comparison to, well, that's the same actually. Um, okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to give you a second now to copy all that information now because obviously I'm going to need some extra space um, and then we're going to continue with the question. Okay, so I'll just give you a second or two uh, to copy that down and then we'll continue. And to part D, I think it is. So, welcome. This is now the last part of um, question two for uh, AQA June 2013. I've just, uh, sorry, 14. Just rubbed this the information off the board and put this on here. Now, um, I'm guessing most of your eyes will be drawn to actually the last part, so sort of skip out a question and um, just confuse you, not any other reason. Um, Purely because for this question, um, I can't really explain it much more than that's what's on the mark scheme. Uh, partly because I'll probably make a mess of it, and obviously, uh, obviously it doesn't need any. Okay, so what you said, what you're given in the mark scheme for, for the last question, um, uh, you asked to prove, just draw the share um, staircase. That's the exact word of it. Uh, draw the staircase on a diagram like that you're given the curves. I would just ask to draw a diagram. So what I've coloured in red and blue there, um, the lines drawn in red and blue, of what you're given, um, sorry, of what you have to add on to your diagram. So the first thing you do is you draw a line just above um, where the intersect uh, and uh, just where it hits both curves. You draw a line down to so that red line, it's the line that hits the both curves at the higher point. Um, and then the blue line, so where the, where the curve that's bending down, and this is uh, y equals 2 ln of 2e take x, this is the curve going down. Um, because obviously it's reflected in the curve, you know, you don't worry, you're given that, so you don't need to really explain that. And then where, so this red line, where it comes down to the to y equals 2l and of 2e take x, when it hits that, you draw a line across so the other curve and down. So it's sort of like a staircase, that's why it's called. So you've got two little stairs there. Uh, you don't, as I said, you don't need to explain that. You don't need to reason why, just that's what you would draw. Um, as I said, you know, I don't really do AQA syllabus, so um, I'm assuming you've got that, um, and that's understandable for you. Um, I just explained how it's been drawn, really. Um, because it's not asked for anything else, so I don't feel the need to explain it. So anyway, back to the actual question we're going to be doing. Uh, so don't worry, I always came back to it, don't just skip it out. You don't get away with it that easily. So what we're told is, um, we're given this uh, irritation formula. It's, it, I call it an irritation, um, although I just draw my brother on the board, if I was to really do that. We're told x, n plus 1, uh, 2 ln, 2 ln of 2e take x. Now it's very similar to our equation of what we had before, where it's x is equal to 2 ln of 2e take x. But they've just put n plus y and n in replacement for the x, just x's. Um, we're told x1 equals 1. Now, in, in AQA, uh, in Ed Excel, sorry, we start with x0, but the same principle applies. 
Now for uh, x1 to be 1, n was 0. So therefore to find an x1, n has to be 1. Um, so therefore x2, we've got to work out x2 and uh, x3, so three decimal places. So I'm just going to go ahead and just put them to 3. So therefore what we do is we sub in our... Now because there's only two irritations it's asking me to find, um, and it's not keep going on and on like it does in some questions, um, I, I just uh, copy the answer into each equation and type out the equation again. But there is a method where you can just store it in your calculator answer button and just keep pressing equals. Uh, but as there's only two rotations, that's quite pointless. Uh, and this doesn't take too much time, I think it's a bit more accurate. And obviously, you know, makes you look a little bit smarter. So everyone else around you is just going, oh, I don't need my calculator. I was like, ooh, a bit thick, but not you. So anyway, n, so x, we'll call this x2, because uh, that's what it wants us to find. So it's 2 times the ln of 2e take x1, or 1. So therefore, x2 is equal to 2.980, sorry, pen's had enough there. Uh, x3, so it's 2 ln of 2e take the answer from the previous one, so 2.980, etc. Therefore, x3, 1.780. Okay, so there are your two answers, and then that's your answer for the part, the last question from part two. So hopefully, as I said, that's been of some help. Um, as I say, it's not really that difficult. I was bothering, you know, just to leave that question, that part of the question out, but probably felt obliged to do it. So uh, anyway, I think that was all your fault, obviously. Uh, but that was quite a nice question, really. Um, nothing too challenging. Um, nothing we couldn't manage. Okay, so thanks for watching, and we'll see you in question three.